Now let's get going, folks, and we'll begin like we will every day here on Menzoid Mornings with something that's really grinding my gears. Time now for the Menzoid monologue. Surely the cardinal sin when it comes to the realms of the academic world and journalism is plagiarism. It is rightfully considered verboten to take credit for the intellectual property of others. Little wonder, after all, plagiarism is really a $3 word for theft. Even elementary students know it's bad to be a copycat. So how is it even remotely possible that the head honcho of the largest school board in the country, the Toronto District School Board, apparently did not know it isn't permissible to take credit for the work of others. Case in point, Chris Spence, the loony lefty director of education for the Toronto Public School Board. Director Spence recently wrote an outstanding column in the Toronto Star. Uh, too bad a lot of it was based on the work of others. Indeed, Spence has now publicly admitted to the plagiarism after being caught red-handed, not by an editor at the Star, by the way, but by some eagle-eyed readers. Spence had written, or should I say photocopied, a column about the importance of extracurricular sports programs. You know, folks, those programs the province's teachers have tossed in the dumpster due to their ongoing dispute with the province. But it's about the kids. Well, here's an extracurricular activity for you, Mr. Spence. Can you kindly carry out your own research next time you decide to pen something? Then again, when it comes to bending and breaking the rules, Spence is really no stranger to such activity. For example, the TDSB ignores its own gender equity and religion in school policies by allowing Don Valley Middle School to run a gender apartheid mosque on Fridays. And hey, the TDSB even publishes literature in which it seems to be endorsing all forms of marriage including one form of marriage that is still illegal in Canada. Check out this clip from our chance meeting with Spence last month. Does love have no gender, Mr. Spence? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you oh, mean? There's a TDSB poster campaign about that, promoting polygamy. Ho, 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 ho. Right, right. Well, you know, TDSB, we're all about inclusion, and uh, it's about ensuring that, you know, people... Uh, uh, feel that uh, in our schools, uh, in our environments, that they can be safe uh, as to who they are. And it's always about uh, being as inclusive as we can. Yeah, they're all about inclusion. I guess the inclusion includes plagiarism. In any event, in a mea culpa letter, Spence notes that in five different instances, five, he did not give proper credit for the work of others. But why did he steal the work of others? Oddly, no reason is given, but Spence does say this, quote, There is no excuse for what I did. I am ashamed and embarrassed. Words of apology are not enough. Oh, you are 100% correct there, Mr. Spence. Words aren't enough. So when will you be resigning? Alas, no such luck, folks. Rather, Spence goes on to say, and this is really amazing, he will enroll himself in the ethics and law course in the journalism program at Ryerson University. Well, isn't that very big of him? But wait a second. Are we supposed to believe this guy needs to take a university course to comprehend that it isn't ethical to take credit for the work of others? Good grief. Where is the nuance here, Mr. Spence, when it comes to plagiarism? What part of do your own thinking and do your own writing, do you not understand? It's really very simple. Oh, and I hate to be rude, but exactly who will be paying the tuition for Mr. Spence's education? Will it be Spence or will it be the public at large? I contacted the TDSB for comment yesterday and true to form, not even their bloated media relations department was able to provide an answer to this query so what do you want to wager, folks, that the taxpayer will indeed be on the hook for Spence's own extracurricular education? Ah, just put it on the tab. In any event, Spence better enroll in that course ASAP. Spence, you see, has promised to write another op-ed piece in which he will offer a full explanation for his thievery. My advice 
to whatever media outlet chooses to run that opus, <laughs> make sure you fact check this piece. But what's really distressing is the awful precedent Chris Spence has established. This is certainly a man who should lead by example. But hey, the next time little Johnny or Janie turns in a book review or an essay that was plucked right off the internet, how can that kid possibly be re reprimanded or disciplined given that the supreme leader, the director of education, is guilty of that very same crime too? Another staggering element to this story is how anyone could possibly think that in this day and age, it's possible to get away with such wholesale intellectual thievery when there are computer programs out there that can easily determine what's original and what's a Xerox. Ironically, according to Spence himself, the TDSB's own policy on student academic dishonesty and plagiarism requires investigation and communication. So will Toronto school trustees get the ball rolling to investigate this breach as well? as so many other gaffes committed by Spence? And if so, what will be the consequences? After all, if any of the 250,000 students at TDSB schools were found to have plagiarized the work of others, the bare minimum consequence is a mark of zero. You can even be expelled. What will Spence's penalty be, if any? Or does the board's numero uno co-parent get a free pass yet again? Spence concludes his apology by noting, quote, it goes without saying that an act of plagiarism will never happen again. Oh, Mr. Spence, how I wish I could believe you. And that's the Menzoid Monologue.